Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today I have something that has been in the works for quite some time, and I was able to get um, two of these to uh, do some testing on, as well as uh, to bring them to you. Um, these are a new product coming out from my buddy George at Whole Targets. These are called the Shootists. These are pellet traps, and let me tell you, a lot of thought went into these things. Um, this is the Shootist Light, and this is the Shootist Heavy. They, um, or George is actually gonna be coming out with custom sizes as well. So if you have a size in mind, you can request um, you know, a quote, and uh, he can certainly get that for you. Uh, these are 12 by 12. The light has a quarter inch steel back plate on it. The heavy has a half inch steel plate back on it. Um, you know, one thing that we all find in this and, you know, we've all fallen, you know, kind of looking around, uh, you know, we go to the big names and, you know, we look for pellet traps, but the majority of them are only really set up for 177, maybe a light 22. Um, but you know, a lot of us are shooting higher power 22s, we're shooting 25s, we're shooting 30s, we're shooting 35s, heck, we're shooting 45s and 50s, and some of you are even shooting 72s. So, introducing the shootist. Um, I have been shooting this light target all day today. I have put probably, well, I've been through a 10 of 2539 um, pellets out of my um, FX uh, Maverick. Um, I've been through a 10 and about a quarter, as well as um, I've shot probably 40 um, of the FX hybrid slugs at this out of the same Maverick and 25 caliber. And there is absolutely zero deformation in the back of this. I'm shooting it at 20 yards. I wanted to keep it as close as I possibly could. Um, I did shoot some uh, H&N Hornets at it. I am going to say this now, do not shoot H&N Hornets at this target. Not without putting some kind of duck seal or uh, clay inside. Um, the metal tips do ricochet out and uh, there's proof of it right there. I had one go in and it pounced right back out. Um, so looking at the inside of this, and I'll bring the camera closer in a second here, um, you'll be able to see um, my lead pile and where I've been shooting. Let me go ahead and bring the camera over. Sorry, it's gonna get a little funky for a second there. But uh, you can see all my impacts and I mean that's that's buttery smooth it's just a layer of of pellets I did shoot at all the other targets but I wanted to keep going for the same spot you can see a bunch of my um, lead dust down in there from my pellets um, but you know just drilling at that same hole there's probably at least 350 shots right to that same spot um so i do believe that uh, let me move this camera back up um i do certainly believe that um the light will definitely handle um probably 30 cal honestly i have not shot the 30 cal at it yet but you know once again we're in the beginning phases of doing testing, but I wanted to bring this out to you guys to show you guys that um, these are available. Um, I would be willing to guess that uh, if you reach out and contact George over at Whole Targets, um, he can actually get you one of these um, already. Um, I can tell you without a doubt, that's, it's nice and solid. Um, these are made 100% in the US of A, this is a veteran owned company made right here and owned and operated right here in Michigan. Um, definitely a, uh, a cool product and uh, one that I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, I am actually gonna have one made at 24 by 24 inch um, because I wanna be able to set it up outside full time here at my range um, so that I have a two foot by two foot target 
that is always available to me to shoot. So mine would be living its life outside. Um, I um, actually talked to George. George painted this one. I actually put truck bed liner on this one uh, because I wanted to see if it deadened the sound just a little bit. This isn't loud. Uh, basically, tink, tink, tink. Could get a little annoying to your neighbors, I suppose, if they were really like that. Uh, one thing that I've thought about doing with um, this is putting some dynamat on the outside of it. Um, just line the outside with dynamat and uh, deaden that sound. But uh, overall, amazing products. Um, you know, so far, so good. These things are holding up extremely well. I have no deformation anywhere on this target. And like I said, that's after 500 or so rounds, just repetitively shooting, just nonstop. I tethered my gun to my tank and um, loaded four mags and just kept rinsing and repeating. And um, like I said, not even, not even a small indent on the inside. It's buttery smooth. So I am fully confident um, that this will, the light will definitely, without a doubt, handle any 25 cal you're gonna throw at it and um, can certainly more than likely handle 30 cal. We're gonna be doing that testing later on today and I'm gonna to continue to bring you guys updates so you guys are gonna be able to see along the way. But till next time, I'm Moose, this is Air Guns Michigan. These are the shootists from Whole Targets. So take care, God bless, be good.